Oh, 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 smells like death in there, let me tell you. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 hi there. Yeah, picked a, a good time to be coming aboard with Dread Pirate Biff. It's uh, kind of ripe in here. I think you should probably uh, go see the other guy, catch up on what he's doing, doing lots of interesting stuff today. And uh, uh, the atmosphere in there would be a lot nicer than oh, it is in here. Welcome back. There's been an amazing flurry of activity going on here, and uh, and we've accomplished quite a bit. So uh, let me bring you up to speed. The rudder cheeks that I was uh, so happy with and messed up on, I've redone the holes, and they are in a condition worthy of an ocean going boat. I have my epoxy sleeves in there nicely. And uh, it doesn't look like much at the moment. I still have to uh, trim the edge and stain them and so on. And in other news, I decided to start working on the teak. Uh, what you see here is my attempt to repair a great big chunk that was split off. You can see the wood splitting here. It was like that, except right across the corner. And uh, it actually come off. So I saved the piece and uh, epoxied it back on. And we shall see what it looks like. Right now, live on YouTube, coming to you. Well, well, well. So we've got a bit of epoxy spillage, but that'll sand out. The back side looks okay. And I figure that'll be as strong as it was when it was new. You can see there's a repair done here previously. But whoever did that um, didn't do much of a job. Let's put that on the list of other teak jobs we have to do. I also repaired this guy. When I took it off, there was a screw hidden here. And so I pried it up from the gun and took a huge chunk out the back of it. So I filled that up with epoxy. And uh, it doesn't look too bad on the side that's going to show. I'll have to sand that down to make it sit level on the uh, cap rail. Other than that, I'm happy with it. I'm not too sure what to do about that one. That piece is missing, that big V. Um, I saved all the little chunks that I have, but that one, I may have to just end up making a putty or something and, and filling it. Uh, and drilled and filled my second boomkin piece. So I will drill that today, and I will have sleeves on my second Umkin beam, which means I'm getting very close to being able to put my boomkin back together. I'll have to stain that and um, penetrating epoxy it and so on. Um, so I've got lots to do, but uh, we're making good progress. <laughs>
productive work day in the shop. I uh, drilled out my boom pin beam and I routed the edges of my cheek rudders and spent some time sanding down the edges. We still need a little bit more, but uh, they're coming along just fine. We'll be a couple more days and we'll be able to uh, do a test feeding, maybe get the uh, penetrating epoxy on that. So, a little bit, a little bit. But that's it for me for today. So if you like the videos, give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you really like them. In the meantime, fair win. I want to see. God bless.